Well, you've seen our first guest perform on Letterman, Conan, Last Comic Standing, and the Netflix series, The Stand-Ups. We welcome back to AM Northwest comedian and actor Joe List. Good to have you with us. We just realized that you were here in 2018. Yes, which is, God, a lifetime ago. <laughs> but I've, everything like felt familiar. It was one of those things. I'm like, I think I met this man. I think I met this woman. I think yeah. I've been in this building, and I think I've tasted these cookies, and... <laughs> I'm back, and by the way, best show ever, homemade chocolate chip cookies right? in the, uh, in the waiting room. Yeah, he does that. That's um, so great. Pumped. And, uh, and it's such a great excuse to eat chocolate chip cookies in the morning. <laughs> Absolutely. It's Friday. Yeah, if I go to the cabinet and just pull chocolate chip cookies out at 8 o'clock in the morning, my yeah. wife's going to be like, we need a divorce. But here, <laughs> it's like, what else could I do? They're here. And are, is it your hometown, like the home of Toll House Cookies? Yes, Whitman, Massachusetts. <laughs> I am from, and people always want to look it up. They never believe me. I am <laughs> from the town that chocolate chip cookies were invented in wow. Whitman, Massachusetts. So how Shut are up. his cookies? Because you probably tasted the best. They're not great. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They're very good. There's like a nice crisp. It's very buttery. Yeah. And uh, no, they're delicious. It was yeah, awesome. They are. Yeah, they're, they're the probably best. in my teeth right now. They're the best. You have a 10-month-old. I do. So how is life with your first baby? He's right here. <laughs> Come on. No. Uh, <laughs> It's good. It's exciting. It's very fun. He's in the hotel room right now with my wife, presumably. Uh -huh. um, it's um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's great. He's and now he's really getting fun. He smiles and laughs, and he has one tooth. Uh -huh. And everything I've read is the bottom, in front incisors come first, and his tooth. He has a lateral incisor, like I, just one. This tooth oh. over here. And it looks like a can opener. He just looks, <laughs> and I can't find anything in, on the internet that says uh, there's ever been a child that had that tooth come right. in first. So he's doing things a little differently. <laughs> I asked my dentist, and she was like, he's just doing his own thing. Yeah. And so he's just got this one tooth right here. Oh, that's it's funny. adorable. But so yeah. you grew up in Boston, mm -hmm. pretty much, right? So uh, as a child, did you realize you could make people laugh? I mean, I think I was like painfully shy as a kid. Really, oh my God! Look at that. I, I have so many photos from Disney where I just look so depressed. It's really, it's jarring when I, to look at it now. I bring him to my therapist, and he's like, "Oh my God!" He starts crying. Yeah, I was very shy, and then eventually I started um, making family laugh and friends. Yeah. And then it was more like high school. I started to be like, "Oh, I think I can be funny and yeah. deflect things that way." And but I was looking at pictures of you as a kid. I mean, you were adorable. Just Thank adorable. Thank I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it somewhere along the line. Like this oh, picture. This is a, what I'm talking about. That's a sweet Look at one. your little hands are on your knees. I know. I'm very sweet and innocent boy. <laughs> and um, no, my son looks just like this now. Isn't it's very that exciting. something? That's it's great. really crazy. Yeah, and it makes you think about your own childhood right? and how horrible your parents are. You know, stuff like that. But um, <laughs> Your wife is also a comedian, Sarah. Yes, Sarah Silverman. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> no, no. wait a minute. <laughs> no, Sarah, Sarah Talamach, there she is. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah she's a comedian, and um, yeah, she's the best. She, at, she, I think that when I was here in 2018, she opened for me. Oh, at Helium. Yeah, yeah at oh. the comedy club, yeah. So, and did you just know each other from doing comedy? You both met each other at a comedy store? Or? Yeah, so we just were both around, and um, I don't remember meeting her. Like, <laughs> we, like, I don't have a good, like, I saw her, I laid eyes on her, and lightning bolts and doves flew out. I just am like, yeah, she just kind of always was around. She remembers meeting me, and same thing. She was just kind of like, oh, there's a guy, he's whatever. Yeah. And then um, we lived two blocks apart. That's crazy. Yeah, and yeah. then we... We just were kind of would bump into each other and we were friends for yeah. years and then it's one of those things where you're both single and you live in the same neighborhood and you go ah what the heck we'll try to date <laughs> and that's still how we've been it's been like 14 years we're still kind of like you've been ah. together 14 years i think so yeah 2011 maybe 13 years yeah. 13. there's and your there's, wedding there's our wedding yeah. and comedian robert kelly was officiated it which <laughs> i don't know if he's ever been here but he's very funny and <laughs> there we are yeah we did it I also uh, learned, too, that uh, you love to run. Do you still run? Like, you love to run in high school, right? I still run. I ran in high school, and I still run. In fact, I'm going to go to Forest Park after this and run over there. It's one of my favorite places to run. It's a great place to run. Oh, it's yeah. spectacular. One of the great city this, parks. This was your cross-country team? That's my team, yeah. Yeah. There we are. And weren't you guys, like, champions? We were champions. We never lost a meet. My, I was in high school 96 through 2000, and our team never went to track, spring track, cross-country. We didn't lose one single time. So every city that you go to, do you try to find a great place to run? Uh, if I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I love, par I love the Pacific Northwest, and last year I was here with my friend Luke Bonas, who's a great comedian who grew up in Portland. So he took me to the Alphabet District, which is wonderful, yeah. and Forest Park, so... 
we're probably going to go over there. And now I'm going to take my family to those spots and act like I discovered them. <laughs> like, I know the good spots, you know. Um, no, yeah. Also, going back to Sarah, not Silverman, uh, your wife, she's a little bit older than you, right? Yeah, she is 68 like years old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I went to the wrong camera for my big moment. No, yeah, she's four years older than me, which I love. It's uh -huh. not, I mean, it's fun to think about when I was... In eighth grade, she uh -huh. was a senior in high school. I mean, that's that's spicy. <laughs> yeah. Like she was, we, we laugh about it sometimes. Like I was like a boy, I was like in middle school, you know, uh -huh. and she was like smoking cigarettes and, <laughs> and hanging out at bars. Um, but yeah, so it's nice. And then women tend to live four years longer than men. Yeah. So hopefully so we die even. at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that's we'll see. Fingers that's crossed. the way to think about it. A long time from now, yeah. of course. My husband and I have same, that same age difference where I'm four years older. Oh, than nice. He is, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it works. I think it's nice. But, you know, for, once you're older, four or five years, it's, it's not all a the big same, deal. Same yeah, age. It's yeah. not a big deal. So, since you've been to Portland many times, what do you think of the audiences in Portland? They're amazing. Yeah. I think Portland is like one of the great comedy cities it really is like awesome crowds I don't know what that is well do you think it's because they're smart I mean it seems like I don't find them bright <laughs> no, um, no I, do. I, think, I think that um, I always think it's a great combination of um, you kind of have a lot of country people from the country coming in and right. the city and I think you have like varying degrees of political association and yeah I think this is also a town that's consumes the arts this yeah. is a very uh, artsy town I think with music and, and comedy yeah. and, and literature I mean yeah I mean, it's, it just feels like um, a great town for the arts so I don't I don't know what it is and it rains and it's depressing so <laughs> we all need laughter yeah yeah exactly yeah, get it you're at helium tonight tomorrow tonight and tomorrow and the late shows are a little the early shows are packed and beautiful <laughs> I don't know what's going on at 10 o'clock at night in this town, but we got we sold about 11 tickets, and three of them are my family. So come to the late shows, for God's sake. Your family's in town? Uh, well, just my wife and yeah. child. Oh, yeah, okay. And then I have gotcha. close friends that I call family. Okay, gotcha. All right, so everyone, check out Helium tonight and tomorrow. We'll put all the information for you on our website at katu.com. Joe, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It's good to be back, and hopefully it won't be six years till I'm back. Right? Yeah. yeah. yeah.